you're on. Look at what I'm playing with. Ice Fever. This was designed by John Trudeau, who went on to design. But you know what? You have to start someplace. They made 1,585 ice fevers. Not that many. This was the last System 80A they made with just numbers for scoring, no alphanumerical characters. And it came out in February of 85. And it followed soon by the alphanumerical games uh, Bounty Hunter and also Chicago Cups. I'm not sure which came first, one or the other. But look what we did to this. Steven has worked his magic on the paint on the sides. It is gorgeous. Uh, I should note that all the System A's up till now had a series of lines or shapes, but no characters because they designed it to, uh, it was a system they were going to make a street smart system or something where you would change the play field and the ROMs and the backlash and have a whole other game. So you can move the play field, the ROMs on the logic board and the backlash and switch the game in location. Nobody ever did it. Jack's to open was that way, Royal Flush. The play field wouldn't match the paint on the side, but that was the idea. They never did it with this. They just made these flat out. So, I mean, you could put Jack's to open in there if you wanted to, but I don't think anybody would. But I want to show you something. We added this dome in the light. Somebody asked, can you show us how to do it? And I'm gonna show you why we did it. Look, if you hit this ball here, and you get these down, okay? And that spots these, these faces too, each time I hit when I get a face. If I hit the ball here, it animates this here first, and then I want you to watch here again. That light goes off and that. We tied them both in together. It's something you can easily do. I'm going to show you how we did it. I should show you. I'm going to turn on the overhead light. Yeah, Isn't this thing gorgeous? We did a lot of Ooh, work nice. to this to make it nice. Here's the animation mechanism here. Okay. Very simple. And one coil fires the ball up. There's the mechanism here. See? That's what moves it. All we did is we tied in wire here, we put a connector in, if they ever had to take it off, they could unplug it and keep it together. And then that light blinks when this blinks. It doesn't hurt the transistor because their LEDs are not light bulbs. There's about the same voltage. We did our usual things we do with all these boards. We have Frank's battery board that fits right in, eliminating that horrible NICAD battery that would leak all over the place. This has been rebuilt with all new capacitors and diodes, okay? Soundboard has new capacitors, okay? The logic board, we also cleaned all the connectors and got everything running. But most important, this, the driver board has been serviced. Now, just so a lot of you know, each of these transistors run a light bulb. See, there's different kinds. They use two different styles. The larger ones operated coils, okay? Now, this connector is not used. See these here? None of these are used in this game. So the, this corner of the board isn't used. They didn't have that many transistors. But look, we added the most important thing of all, the extra ground. This was in. Gottlieb insisted that you put this in to keep it running smoothly. Uh, th so the ground stayed up. It's an extra wire that was not in the original connector. Now Gottlieb started putting them in the connectors of the 80B games, but up until now you had to put it in yourself. Really pleased at how it came out. I think you should be too. And other features in the game, uh, I'll show you some. Let me close this here. These little strips tend to fall off. There we go. Um, we put in um, color, code, color coordinated lighting. We have the light here at the bottom that adds the lighting to the here, right here. Then we lit the buttons. Now this is a Timmy exclusive. Uh, Timmy, our Timmy, came up with the idea of lighting the buttons. In some cases, somebody's getting a lot of text. In some cases, the button comes out and then we put a clear button in. 
So factory you had green and and red. Who's sending you all these texts? Pat. My Pat. <laughs> anyway, we're going to finish this beautiful game off with powder coated legs. Uh, it, it's just it adds a, such a nice touch to the overall beauty of the game. Now the head, this head will swing down easily, and then the bolts come out. So Kurt's going to have that all marked for us. So. That is ready. Aren't you, Curdy? Sure. Uh, stop what I'm doing right now. No, you tell her, you can't be rude. We are so busy, Curdy. We have all these games we, we've we, got. We are definitely busy. we got the Terminator going out. we got the, <laughs> the NBA Jam. we got the multi Miss Pac-Man. This Zaxxon's getting all new art. The Golden Tee Complete. Pinbot's going out. High Roller Casino. Here's a multi-Williams. Uh, the Playboy, I've got the Tempest here that somebody bought, uh, one of our good customers, but he's, he's getting it as is, we're working in the electronics, uh, and the Oblivious, this keeps coming up. Um, the Star Wars has a monitor issue, so we're trying to work with that now. But soon, we will get this, we will get this, won't we? You better have that working in the next hour. <laughs> I'm still loved. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed our ice fever. That is getting shipped tomorrow. Um, and, oh, I meant to tell you, there's only two ice hockey pinball machines made. Bally's Bobby Orr Power Play from 77 and Ice Fever. And that was that. There were no more ice hockey themed pinball machines made nor will there be right Kurt so they made one with you on it do you think I can play ice hockey I'd like to see you on skates double the veal of good careful watch the ice crack do you hear fatty, this good fatty on the ice do you hear this all the kids crying in the corner oh. on the ice fatty fatty you ruined my ice service. By the way, we're going out to dinner tonight, young man. Have fun. Oh, have fun. I, I was waiting for you to say that. See? I know. Doesn't have it. fun. <laughs> Got a life, you know. Got a life. Well, my life right now is ice fever. That's now it's done. Have fun with your ice fever. Do you know how many we've sold of that? Two? No. Three. I'm going to say 30, yeah, 35, 40. Cool. We had one customer, I swear to God, he bought two of them. He loved the game so much. He had one in his mountain house and one in his house. He bought two from us. That's impressive. It is. And then we outfitted them both with the light on the top. Did you see how easy it is? Oh, by the way, the total cost to do that is a light socket, a red LED, some wire. You should put a connector on it. And... Uh, the dome, the red dome, that's a high speed dome. So what's the cost? You didn't say the cost. 25 bucks. $25. For a topper. That's awesome. I thought so. It's all part free. of my greatness. Great. I know. Thanks for watching tonight, folks. Our short, this was, this was not long. I, I do want to show all this other junk, but we're, we're busy here. We're busy here. We do have a life, too, Kurt. Bustling show. Do I have a life, Kurt? No. Tommy's next. That's right, this is going out and High Roller Casino. And we've got a lot of plans. We've got a lot of good stuff going out. And I have another Tommy next door that's going to uh, Mark in Canada. Canada! I got the Canada thing in, and that's Tammy's Canada. You can order her album. She'd love that. I'll put the link at the end. Anyway, now it's really good night. Good night. Good night. Now get out! We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where.